hello hello so how y'all doing <laughs> um i'm about to do my makeup i haven't been doing makeup lately because i've been trying to keep my face like cleared because i noticed a few breakouts and usually that only happens when i uh am wearing makeup too much like i was wearing makeup for like days on end and my body said no 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 so yeah so we're gonna do makeup today and if anyone needs a suggestion <laughs> on a foundation the fit me dewy and smooth i promise it is literally the best it is amazing so i think it's just gonna be like a light makeup i don't think like i'm going into it with like okay i'm not gonna do hardcore winged eyeliner but that sometimes changes <laughs> So we'll see. Oh, Twinkie just sneezed. Bless you, baby girl. Bless you. I have a, well, I did have a hickey right there, but it's gone. So, um, I do try to cover those up. Y'all come for me, but I promise. I do try to cover them up. Okay. Oh, I weighed myself today. Well, today is not weigh-in day, but I wanted to get a look at how she's going. And the scale is moving. A lot slower than you think but you do have to realize that like everyone's calories is different there's like a machine you can actually go on um, to see like your true metabolic rate and all of that like cuz everyone is different like it literally has to do with so much I just got foundation on my earring <laughs> love that but to top it all off I am a 32 year old who had a full hysterectomy, who went through menopause. I have no estrogen. <laughs> like, I have lip edema, which makes it to where, like, to lose one pound, I have to, like, work five times harder or, like, wait five times longer to lose that pound, unfortunately. Especially as my lip edema gets worse and worse. So it's, like, there's a lot of things that go into it. Um, like, when I saw the lip edema specialist... Uh, she was able to explain it a lot better than I actually can so but not everything is black and white with calories trust me I wish it was because it would just be a lot easier of course a healthy person or me um, at a earlier age you know it was a little bit more black and white it's like calories in calories out but once you're riddled with different type of like things like me with lipedema you know menopause etc etc like things are different my metabolism is no longer the same so i don't know but i am happy the scale is moving and i do feel so good um fasting and stuff where's my phone where is my phone how long have i been fasting for right now it says 13 hours and 46 minutes can you see 13 hours and 47 minutes now. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel good doing it. It feels good. I will say that. All right, makeup is completed. My winged eyeliner is a little more than I was expecting to do, but yeah, I feel like I need some like lipstick or something, but not in the mood. My lips actually feel so soft right now. I don't know if it's because I'm drinking more water, whatever it may be, but I'm totally into it because normally my lips are kind of like, they feel a little dry, but right now they're super soft and it could be because I just am so hydrated. I'm a hydrated queen. What can I say? Hello, beautiful people. I am currently doing a Lego. I am doing this one right here. Starry Night. It's the one that Feline got me. I took a Lego break because I just love Lego so much that when I get like super obsessed with them, I literally can't stop. So... I have a couple more um, in my queue that I'm going to do, so I'm excited. I have them all set in this, so yeah, I'm on the fourth out of, I don't know how many actually, so it's a surprise to me because I don't even remember because I actually put these in here in order like a long time ago, so, but yeah, this is how it's looking so far. It's actually so fun. Oh my God, I've missed doing Legos so much. Ooh, I just put those two pieces together and now she looks like this. And if you're wondering what these little marks are on my um, table, 
it's just um eyeshadow that literally will not come off i've tried to clean it hardcore but look at it there's like little houses oh my god this is so adorable all right you guys i'm about to break my fast i like to break my fast with this meal because i feel like it's super nutritious and also there's a lot of protein it's satisfying and it's filling so after not eating for so long this is how i like to do it so everything is about the same as usual but i decided to cut some onion because i had some left over so i'm gonna try it with onion this is just some carrot <laughs> it was on the onion but let's give her a try i know some of you find the um segments where i'm just like taking a bite and then like editing out like all the chewing some of you find that satisfying so i find it satisfying too and that's the reason why i do it so we're gonna try the onion this is gonna be potent it's just something i wanted to try i don't want to waste any of my food i noticed that i had onion in the fridge so i said you know what let's give her a try mmm wait that's bomb yes it is all right so let's go through my plate asparagus celery Brussels sprout, carrot, broccoli, radish, a sweet pepper, pickle, green olive with a garlic, chicken sausage, and a strawberry. And to those thinking that I don't actually think this tastes good, I do. I actually look forward to it every day and like comparing it with like my favorite foods or my favorite desserts obviously those things are better but for what this is it's actually really freaking good and I thoroughly enjoy it I know people think like I'm trolling or lying about liking these things no this has helped me stay on track so much. Like, it's honestly shocking. Okay, guys. So, I'm about to make my smoothie while also trying to figure out the calories for it. I'm not counting calories, but I am acknowledging them, of course. So, I have a piece of paper over here where I'm going to write everything down. Obviously, ice, zero calories. Duh. So, I do have my scale down. Um, and it's teared to zero for everything. So... A banana is 105 calories, but I am going to round it up to 110. So I'm just going to pour. I teared it um, to zero, by the way, after I put the bananas in. So that is 251 grams, but the servings, 240 milliliters. So I have this unit where I'm able to click that. So the serving is 240 milliliters. For 120 calories but this is 251 milliliters as you can see here so i was just about at one cup so for 240 being 120 calories i'm just gonna say for the oat milk i'm gonna round it up to 130 okay so now i'm gonna tear it out again so it's at zero next is pb2 i'm just gonna pour what i feel is right so a serving of this is 13 grams, so I'm going to use the little unit. Oh my god, that's exactly 13 grams. I love that. So here you can see 13 grams, and a serving is 13 grams. And so that's only 50 calories. So let me write that down here. PB2, 50 cals. So now I'm gonna tear it out again. Vanilla extract is next. And vanilla extract has no calories in this brand. Just for the funsies of it, I'm gonna say five calories for vanilla extract. So I'm not gonna total up the calories yet. Let's just make the smoothie. And then we can total it up. So I like to mix it a little bit first 
It's about to be loud, but I am gonna edit out majority of the blending, don't worry. Okay, so when I make a smoothie, it's always for both Feline and I. So whatever the calories is, it will be split in half as well. So since the banana was frozen, it doesn't make it very liquidy and it's super messy. <laughs> I definitely prefer a fresh banana, not a frozen one, but that's okay. So here are the glass straws. All right, so 110 plus 130 plus 50 plus five is five, six, seven, eight, nine there, 295. So it's 295 for the whole smoothie if I was to be eating that by myself. So dividing that into two is 147. 0.5 so for me to have the smoothie is only 147 calories and it's filling and now that I see that I'm kind of shocked because this was a meal replacement and now I'm like 147 calories is not a meal so oh wow okay <laughs> it's so good I'm gonna go get Feline hers Okay, so as I'm having my smoothie here, um, I just wanted to be more like precise on calories. And I had looked up the brand of uh, vanilla extract that I use and a lot of places said zero calories, but it's like Google can be wrong. So what I did was I took the barcode and I scanned it into my fitness pal and it's actually 12 calories for 4.2 grams. And as I was filming, I actually did measure that, thank God. And I ended up using eight grams. So um, add on another 24 calories and then divide it by two is 12. So then uh, for this is about 160 calories, not 145 or whatever it was. Either way, it's below 180, which is pretty shocking. It's below 170, really. Um, so I just wanted to be like super exact since I was showing that to you guys. Okay, so we just got to the Dollar Tree and I'm telling you right now that the way that the GPS took us, it felt like we were on a damn roller coaster with the roads, I swear to you. But it was a moment. It was a moment. I've been requested to do a Dollar Tree haul so many times. It's windy. I hope you guys can hear me. So many times. So I'm finally doing that for the people who are asking. So let's go. They have literal sandals here. I feel like they won't fit me because I do have some wide feet. So these type of sandals are horrible because when you step on them, they like hurt right here. These are so cute. <laughs> they have so many to-do lists. Oh, like, look at all these journals. Definitely tempting. Look, look how cute that is. So I picked up something and I said, oh, this is cute. That's my aesthetic. And Feline was like, and she walked away. <laughs> but, oh, wait, 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 Look at this cutie. Oh my God, love. Wait, I think it's so cute. <laughs> if you wanna buy a broom at Dollar Tree, you gotta buy everything separately. That is the craziest thing I've ever seen. Y'all can't really tell, but I'm telling you, this road is a roller coaster. There is like a million ups and downs. Like, you know that feeling like where your stomach feels like it's like falling? How do you describe it, babe? I don't know, that's exactly the way I describe it. Yeah, but it like feels good and you're like, woo! Yeah, this road is like that and it's like hardcore like that. This is beautiful Kentucky, folks. Trees upon trees and land upon land. You can't really see it. Wait, you're about to. Here we go, there's some right there for you. This is the backwoods, Kentucky. <laughs> Not really, this is like the pretty side, I feel like. What do you think of it, babe? It's what I think of when I think Kentucky. <laughs> this is what you think of? 
Oh, this guy looks like cotton candy. It looks so pretty in the camera. So gorge. But yeah, I love trees. Like, it's my fave. Just show you guys my scenery. All right, we want to listen to music now. <laughs> We are officially back from the Dollar Tree and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bags. Dang. So we were at Dollar Tree for an hour. It feels good knowing that I can go into a store and be in there for an hour and be totally fine and not out of breath. The only downside is my legs are so swollen because as you guys know, I have lipedema slash lymphedema. I have both. Um, and I get super swollen, obviously, and plus like gravity, so it makes the fluid go down and it just swells me more. So that's the only downside, but it's just like such an amazing non-scale victory because I think of myself like 2019, um, some of 2018, some of 2020, where I couldn't even stand to cook. I couldn't even stand to cut up a freaking zucchini. And now I'm walking in the store for an hour. So it's like those non-scale victories, like they matter a lot and I don't know it just feels good knowing that like I can improve my stamina and I can do even better than that like I can't wait for the day where my stamina improves even more because obviously at 32 years old I should not be like oh my god yay I can walk in the store for an hour but like with my experience my story what I'm going through I find myself to be very proud of that and I am victorious in that um, but yeah, anyways, so the Dollar Tree haul, I actually shopped for it today because it's actually going to be for the video tomorrow. Um, I will vlog tomorrow, but it's going to be part of tomorrow's vlog. So the haul isn't actually going to be in today's video. So definitely come back tomorrow. Um, we spent $84. So there's quite a few items in that haul. So it's going to be a big in. I got some stuff. Feline got some stuff. So definitely come back tomorrow to see the haul.